what exactly are you trying to pull? Uh, nothing. 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 I was just, um... You're breaking and entering, I know. I saw... No. You might try knocking, you know. I... I just came by to pick up Junior's stuff. That's all. And I didn't want to pull you out of bed in the middle of the night. Opening doors is so taxing. Thank you. You're welcome. How's Junior? He's, he's okay. He's all right. Yeah. He went, he went to bed early, as a matter of fact. It's been known to happen. Yes. So I, um, I just thought I'd get his stuff, you know? His backpack. Oh, <laughs> and there it is. There it is. You looking for the videotape you brought with him? Yes, it's his favorite. Is it? Well, this must be it. I wonder what he likes to watch, anyway. Let me just say we check it out. Don't play it. Why not? Don't you want to see what so your son thinks is so important that he packs it when he runs away from home? No. I think the children have certain, you know, rights, so just along, along with adults. What kind of rights? Well, the right to privacy, the right to think their own thoughts. Well, Dixie, what if that privacy leads them to do something that, that's a mistake? Like, like, take drugs. <sighs> Watching a videotape is not the same as taking drugs, Tad. How do you know? You don't know what's on the videotape. Well, I say that a good parent guides their child. That means checking things out. <sighs> <laughs> well, I'd say that the world is safe for democracy. <laughs> well, so much for our mystery tape. That was rather anticlimactic. Got some good news for you, though. You don't have to worry about Liza anymore. I haven't been. Well, maybe you should be, because uh, she was trying to convince me that you were ill. I told her to cease and desist. Cease and desist? Yeah, she was trying to scratch up some uh, proof to back up her theory. I told her I wasn't interested because you've got a life of your own. Well, you think she'd have enough to worry about what was carrying Jake's baby and all? Yeah, you'd think. Which reminds me, I was supposed to... Meet Jake ten minutes ago at the hospital. I gotta get out of here. Oh. Uh, would you mind if I um, stayed here a few minutes just to make some quick calls? No, knock yourself out. Just do me a favor when you leave. Slam the door. Sure thing. Oh, thanks for Junior's stuff. Anytime. Any luck? I didn't see you come in here, did he? No. I was waiting outside in the car until he left. So what happened? Did, uh, did he catch you? Did you find the tape? Well, uh, yes and no. I mean, he... I don't think he really bought my excuse for being here, and he gave me the tape that Junior supposedly bought over, but it wasn't the right one. I've got to find the tape before all hell breaks loose. Well, at least Tad hasn't seen it yet. Oh, thank goodness for small favors here. Dixie, Ted, Jamie Jr. at Highwater Falls. There's a cave behind those falls. Yeah. Very romantic, I'm sure. A tripping down memory lane won't help us find your last will and testament. Look. Who? Uh, uh. How you doing? I'm good. What's happening? Uh, well, I was hoping I could extract you from this den of diseases and whisk you away for some imported beer and some pretzels. What do you uh, say? I, I, what I say, I, I would love it. But at present, I'm attending to a heart-sick princess, an accused rapist with pneumonia, and two peptic ulcers. But thank you. What a guy. Well, I guess chivalry isn't dead after all. Just your love life. <laughs> Let's put it here. So, do you have anything to add to my... List of woes? Yeah. Start with, I got a brand new brother who's moonlighting as a spy, an ex-wife I still hanker for, and uh, a 
deep abiding fear that my life is just gonna get worse before it gets better. Mm -hmm. It's a trail of tears down here. Got any brotherly advice as to how I could extract myself from this mess? Uh, well, let's see. I think you need one of those white coats with the uh, wraparound sleeves. That and a three-week stay up on 5 North. That should, that should do you. 5 North, the cycle. 5 North, yes. I'll pass. All right. How about a heart-to-heart -heart with some sympathy thrown in? Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking, but you ain't saying much. Who are you kidding? I've been mouthing off since I got here. Yeah, you've been mouthing off about what's been happening, but not how you feel about what's been happening, you know? I feel like an idiot. No, the, the dork feeling is not a feeling feeling. How do you feel? I'm still in love with Dixie. All right. I know that. She's not in love with me, so I feel psychotically angry. I also feel like I'm losing my mind because there's not a thing I can do about it. You don't have control. No. I hate that feeling. I hate it. I feel like around here in the ER, in the OR, or whatever, in, in the outside world, you know. Well, what good are feelings if all they do is make you feel like a truckload of manure? I don't know. We've been through them all. Dixie, the tape's not here. Maybe he's got it stashed in his room or someplace at Adams. <sighs> Great. Great. Anybody could run across a tape of me telling my son goodbye. Fantastic. Well, maybe somebody threw it away by accident. Who would do that? Oh, me. Rental tapes mixed in with old magazines and newspapers? No. No, somebody... We, I, I've got to find it before anybody else sees it. I especially don't want Tad seeing, okay? Come, come with me. We've got to find it. All right. I may feel bad, but one thing's for sure. I'm a lucky man if I got a brother in my corner like you. I'm going up to Junior's room. I'm going to find that tape, and then I'm going home. Well, there's no need to go to Palmer's tonight. I'm not going to Palmer's tonight. I am going home to Pigeon Hollow. What? For how long? For good. When? As soon as I possibly can. If you're watching this now, you know that I've passed on to another place. And heaven is just wonderful. 